Let's say you even know the lab or base where it possibly escaped from. If you try to bring it out, who will believe you? You don't believe us, do you? I believe you, but that's not the problem. You don't need me to believe you. You need them to believe you. Them? Them. With a capital T. Your priest, your postman, your teacher, the world at large. <laughs> they won't believe any of this. That's why we made the tape. Oh, that's easy to bury. Easy. He admits it. You heard it. He admits culpability. You're being naive, Nancy. Those people, they're not wired like me and you, okay? They don't spend their lives trying to get a look at what's behind the curtain. <sighs> they like the curtain. It provides them stability, comfort, definition. This, this would open the curtain and open the curtain behind that curtain, okay? So the minute someone with an ounce of authority calls bull, everyone will nod their heads and say, see, ha, I knew it. It was bull. That is, if you even get their attention at all. This is not a rock concert. This is not Coachella. We don't need a messiah. All we need are decent, honest, hardworking people who are accountable and who have America's best interests at heart. Evolution is a lie! Mac, look, you're wasting our time. You're not going to get us to not believe in evolution. And why is that? Because the smartest scientists in the entire world all agree that it's real. I'm glad you brought that up. Because, Mr. Reynolds, science is a liar sometimes. Oh, boy. Well, this is insane, you fool. I'm a fool because I have more faith in the saints that wrote the Bible? Yeah, because you just read the words of a bunch of guys that you never met and you just take it on faith that everything they wrote was true. Mm. And what makes you think what your scientists are writing is any more truer than my saints? Because there are volumes of proven data, numbers, you know, figures. Th th there are fossil records. Oh, fossil records. Ah! I didn't even think about the fossil records. I guess I'll concede. Oh, wait, well, uh, one more thing before I do, Mr. Reynolds. Have you seen these fossil records? Have I s Huh? Have you... Poured through the data yourself, the numbers, the figures. Well, no, I mean, no. Oh, interesting. So let me get this straight, Mr. Reynolds. You get your information from a book written by men you've never met, and you take their words as truth based on a willingness to believe, a desire to accept, a leap of, oof, dare I say it, <laughs> faith? Oh, come, on, oh, come on, look, I mean, I don't even know how I'm supposed to respond to that, like, uh, that is a, that's a false e equivalency. Just answer the question, Mr. Reynolds. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I rest my case. Let's go uh -huh. deeper. What's the goal? What's the purpose? Yeah, you go around and change everybody's DNA. But what do they become? They become a hybrid. The insidious part of this is that once a person is injected. Almost immediately their DNA undergoes transformation. Almost immediately they lose all awareness of the fact that they've lost their independence, their ability to think on their own, to make decisions on their own, and to affect them on a moral level. Their moral independence, their beliefs, religious, moral, ethical, legal, all of those go away. If you remove the independent thought and that awareness that you've lost your independence is gone, what then do the powers that be do with these new forms of humans, hybrids? They can control them. They can turn them into a surf class. Not S-U-R-F, not surfers, but S-E-R-F, a class of slaves.
to serve the elite. The final mission to save mankind has failed. The 70 mile wide asteroid known as Matilda is set to collide with Earth in exactly three weeks time and we'll be bringing you our countdown to the end of days along with all your classic rock favorites. I love DJing, I love music. What's your dream playlist? to give me a hint that there are aliens. No, I'm trying to tell you I don't know, oh. but if we were visited someday, I wouldn't be surprised. I just hope that uh, it's not like Independence Day. Yeah, right. Maybe that it's, a, you know, a, a conflict. Well, now we have friendly Maybe aliens. the only way to unite this incredibly divided world of ours. They're out there. We better think of how all the differences among people on Earth would seem small if we felt threatened by a space invader. That's the whole theory of independence. You're right, you're Everybody right. Everybody gets together and makes nice and, you know.
Number eight, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. For years, Congress has required biometric entry exit visa tracking systems but it has never been completed. The politicians are all talk, no action, never happens, never happens. Hillary Clinton, all talk. Unfortunately, when there is action, it's always the wrong decision. Do you ever notice? In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. Yeah, they say this is the most complex machine that humanity has ever built. And uh, I want to, like, as they said, thank everyone as we go forward. And with that, we'll say increment 42 has begun. All right? Congrats. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you all. Nobody been to the moon in such a long time. <laughs> That's not a, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened.
Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What is the Trilateral Commission? It's an organization founded in 1973 by David Rockefeller to bring together business and political leaders from the United States, Europe, Japan, so they could work together for uh, better economic and political cooperation between their nations. Yeah, but that, that's what they'd like us to believe. But you see, what they're really up to is a scheme to plant their own loyal members in positions of power in this country, to work to erase national boundaries, and create an international community, and in time, bring about a one-world government with David Rockefeller calling the shots. <laughs> DeGeneres sits next to former President George W. Bush at a Dallas Cowboys football game, and it sent Twitter into a frenzy. Here's what she had to say to the critics. People were upset. They thought, why is a gay Hollywood liberal sitting next to a conservative Republican president? Didn't even notice I'm holding the brand new iPhone 11. And, um, <laughs> but a lot of people were mad, and they did what people do when they're mad. They tweet. That part of what makes our country great is that our membership is based not on our bloodline, not on what we look like, what our last names are, 
It's not based on where our parents or grandparents came from or how recently they arrived, but on adherence to a common creed. Napoleon, Alexander the Great, Donald Trump, we're all cut from the same cloth. He is the vice president of the National Board of Show Council, Show Council, Show Council, Show Council, Show Council, Council, Show Council, Show Council. Many of you missed your prom, sporting events, and celebration with your friends, but you were quick to find new ways to stay connected and active while remaining focused on finishing your education. You proved to the entire world that you can set your mind to something important, push through and succeed, showing all of us that you, our next generation, already possess the I'm going to vote blue. Vote for who you want. This is a free dictatorship. If we turn against each other based on divisions of race or religion, come on, try getting it out. Ding, 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 ding. That's all, folks.